What's up guys? What's up guys? What's up guys? Tony Snuff here, meaning I am Tony and all of this is Snuff. Sorry, uh, no intro today. And sorry for no review on Saturday. Um, I actually did a review on Saturday. And, well, I did it. I didn't do it on Saturday. I did it on Sunday for a uh, St. Patrick's Day thing. Um, I went ahead and reviewed Irish coffee because, I mean, it's fucking St. Patrick's Day and why not? But for some reason, my iMovie is completely fucked right now. Um, hence the reason there's no intro. And hence the reason that there was no review this weekend. I'm trying to get the bugs worked out of it. But for some reason, iMovie is just fucking... It's freezing. Every time I try to export the video or just straight upload the video to YouTube, it just completely freezes out and locks up the whole computer. I don't know what the hell is wrong with it, but... What the fuck ever. Whatever, I don't care. Um, mm -hmm. I'll get the stitches up tomorrow, and I should have an almost normal looking face. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into this Tuesday review. I can't believe it's Tuesday, it feels like it's Friday. Alright, hey guys, what's up? Tony Snuff here, meaning I am Tony and all of this is Snuff. Thanks for coming to my channel again, sorry for no intro, as I just previously stated. I bring the reviews to you, so get off your Pornhub and spank wire, let go of your junk, you sick sick bastards, and whip out your snuff, and let's get to sniffing. As you see today, we're going to be jumping up with the Samuel Godwith Cherry, Cherry, Cherry. I've had this one sit back here for the longest freaking time ever. So it's about damn time I get to it. I'm trying to work from the oldest ones to the newest ones. But I get new ones and I get excited about them and I have to review them. And then I leave these guys who I've had from the beginning for later. Which, you know what, I'm going to do this guy next because it's about damn time for him. All right, as you know, with the uh, the 25 gram tins with Galwit, they are a pain in the ass to open because they are vacuum sealed. So what I found is I usually poke a tiny little hole. You see it right there, right above the U? I poke a tiny little hole in it, and that relieves the vacuum pressure. And then I'll just put a tiny little piece of, you know, clear tape over it, to where it still keeps it fresh. And then whenever I go to open it again, I peel the tape back. I push down on it a little bit to get a little bit of a pump of air. And then, as you see, it'll open up just nicely. Still kind of a pain in the ass, but it doesn't slide as much. Um, as you see, I kind of dug into this a little bit a while back. I haven't even used it since I got it a long time ago. But um, from the initial pop, the tin smell, it smells like a, uh, it just smells like a, um, if you ever had the chocolate covered cherries, and the, uh, the red cherry that's inside, I forgot what the fuck they're called. But just that smell, like it's inside the chocolate covered cherry, is the scent I get from it. Yeah, pretty right on the scent. Um, as you can see, it's a, um, I'd say it's a little bit medium coarse grind, just from screwing around in it, playing with it. Um, medium coarse, but not too coarse at all. It's closer to a straight medium grind. As you see, it has a medium moisture to it, and it is a dark brown color as I spill it all over my table. Almost like a really dark colored dirt. So, let's go ahead and get into this. Using my douche spoon. But I'm 100% cancer free. I guess that's something to be happy about. Oh, all right. When it gets in your nose, immediately you get the, uh, the tingle and a uh, a pretty formidable size burn to it. I didn't expect it. Um, I haven't used it in a while. But you get the same cherry smell from it. It actually does smell like a real, not like the maraschino. That's what it is, maraschino cherries. It doesn't smell like that anymore. But when it gets in your nose, it smells like the real, real like the purplish kind of cherries, like real fucking cherries, not the um, the BS kind of cherries. And on the bottom of the tin, you can see where the little hole is. Um, but yeah, it's really good. It doesn't shoot to the back of your throat from what I just had, and I gave it quite a sniff. I guess because the moisture kind of holds it together and doesn't let it do it. But let's try it again. Yeah, um, it settles in your nose quite nicely. Um, so I would say for a beginning snuffer that this would be definitely be a good one. Especially if you like kind of the fruity smells to it. Not if you don't like the... Uh, this has a little bit of a floral, like a cherry blossom, almost after scent to it, but um, it's not too, um, when I first got it, I thought it was a little bit floral, 
until I actually started sniffing the floral snuffs, and now it's almost like a, a hint of cherry blossom with a lot of actual, the real kind of cherries. So I really actually enjoy this one now that I've, you know, used a lot more and uh, worked a lot more with snuff instead of just going right to this one. This was actually one of the first ones I got in, and I wasn't too uh, too fond of it. I don't know why, I guess, because I didn't expect it to be as floral or to be as fresh. Smelling, I was kind of counting on it to be the um, the stereotypical type cherry scent that you get. More of the artificial type scents instead of the actual real scent. So, um, But yeah, I really like it. Um, it gives you a little bit of a forward drip. I haven't had any kind of a back drip with this one yet. Um, so, yeah, a little bit of a forward drip. I guess it's just from the, um, almost like the freshness of it, I guess you could say. How it smells like fresh cherries, it gives you a little bit of a, uh, a moisture drip to try and block up those uh, the clumps of snuff it has in there. But um, overall, I think it's a pretty damn good snuff. I'm definitely going to add it to, um, if not my daily, one of my weekly things. Um, like this guy, that was pretty damn full. I had a bad day today, and I pretty much just, if you can see down in there, hold on. If you can see down in there, I use quite a bit of it. Hold on, let me pack it down in to see how I can see how much I've used of this one over the past fucking like 24 hours so as you see there's quite a bit missing there still like this one so um yeah guys I'm gonna keep trying to work on uh, my iMovie so I can at least export the Irish coffee one it's a pretty damn good review um I actually found a four-leaf clover on St. Patrick's Day luck hasn't changed at all it got worse <laughs> so guys thanks for watching make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down here next to my boobies and leave me a comment on um, what combination of snuff you think I should do. Go back and look at my videos. Um, and uh, see what combination of stuff you think I should do. Leave me a question. I don't know. I'm almost out of ideas to have you guys leave me some fucking comments. So just comment something. Say hi. You're ugly. I hate the mustache. I love the mustache. I don't know. Just leave me some kind of a fucking comment. Um, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons next to my boobies. Again, I'm really tired. It's really late. I'm going to go get some fucking sleep. And I'm going to try and get that, uh, Irish coffee video uploaded as soon as possible. Um, for those of you who are looking forward to a video on Saturday, which I'm probably like three of you were. But, whatever. Um, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully Thursday comes along and Friday comes along soon after that so we can all get some fucking days off of work because it's about time for a day off. Thanks guys for watching. Keep on snuffing guys. I don't know what else to say. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Peace out. Boom, chicka, boom, chicka, scratch, scratch, Tony Snuff.